Mm. Now that is delicious. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Young Fam. You're in the kitchen with Dad, and today we're cooking creamy chicken pasta. All right, let's do this. But before we get started, I have to warn you, if you make this dish, be prepared for your family to eat it. All right, now that that's out the way, let's get started. First, we're gonna start with our block of cream cheese. Next, we're gonna do our penny pasta and we're just gonna add it around the cream cheese. You're supposed to do about four cups, but we have to feed a family of seven, so I just go ahead and use the entire box. And now that we got our penny pasta laid it, before we add our Caesar dressing, we're gonna shake it really well. And now that it's shaking really well, we're gonna go ahead and add this on now. And we're just gonna pour it around the penny and the Caesar dressing. Now that we got our milk poured, we're gonna do two cups of chicken broth. And we're gonna pour it the same way. There's two cups. Next up, we're gonna add in our broccoli florets. And so we're just gonna add it around the border uh, of our meal here. we got our broccoli we're going to use garlic paste and I chose roasted garlic paste for ours. I'm just going to add one puff, two puff and that's it. This part is almost done but next we have to shred our rotisserie chicken before we add it to the meal. Now that I got all the chicken that I want to go out, I'm going to go ahead and shred it up with my blender. Now I'm just going to bring my chicken back over and I'm going to add it around my broccoli here. Now that I got my chicken laid, last step that I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some Italian seasoning to it. Now that this part is all done, I'm gonna cover with foil. And then we're gonna transfer it to the oven. We're gonna bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. Okay, now our timer is off, so we're gonna transfer over and finish our toppings. All right, now that it's done baking, we're gonna remove our foil. Look at that. And then we're gonna start to stir it all together. That smells so good, y'all. All right, now that we got it evenly mixed, we're gonna go ahead and add our mozzarella cheese on top. Now 
Now add just a little more Italian seasoning to the top of it. We're gonna let it broil for three minutes. Now that is delicious. Make sure to like and subscribe for more easy recipes in the kitchen with dad.